Jim, congratulations, off and running here at Alexandra Palace. Hard fought victory there, how would you sum it up? Well, it was 9-0 and next, it wasn't that hard, was it? You made it look hard work then, <laughs> so you didn't look your free-flowing self up there. Yeah, I know, I just, I think it, I was thinking about Peter Wright playing and I really wanted to win and every, every dart player knows if you try too hard, it's, it, yeah, you make it tough for yourself, that's what happened. Obviously, looking at the, the standard of your opponent, were you aware that you were a class above before a dart was even thrown? Oh, no, I didn't know the guy and um, it happens a lot and he's obviously, you're not a bad, you're not a bad player to, to qualify for this, so. Yeah, the guy can play darts, so, which is difficult, you know, it's the unknown, so. Yeah, but that was kind of in my back of the head, you're wondering what he's going to do. Um, but yeah, I got through. What was it like coming back here after last year? Because obviously you had darts to beat Gabriel Clements, who went on to get to the semi-final. Was it, was it nice to come back and put that right? It's not putting it right. Um, yeah, I mean, both of us played very well. Yeah, I was disappointed. I, I felt the better player in that game, but yeah, you know, that's that's the fine lines. There's a difference between 25 grand and 100 grand, I guess. Where is the Jim Williams game and mindset right now? Because we've seen you do brilliant things. We've also seen you miss events. So where is your mindset in terms of your game right now? Yeah, good. I mean, it's always been the same. I, like. I probably don't put the time in that I should, but when I'm here, I don't want to lose. I've always got the the winning attitude. Um, yeah, so it's all right. I'm happy with that, you know, and it's a completely different game with Peter Wright. Um, yeah, I know what's coming, so I don't want to miss. I know you said your business always comes first. With the move to Midweek Pro Tours, can you juggle being a PDC player and work with this move? Um, I guess I'll have to. It's it's kind of the same as what happened last year. You know, I'll, I'll pick and choose kind of where I'll go. Um, well, depending on what's happening there, yeah. Also, we know you've got a, a new neighbour in Mr. Damon Hatter. Is he going to try and drag you out and play a little bit more? Yeah, good. He's been great. You know, I, I, I thought I was going to be brilliant today. Um, I wasn't. <laughs> but, yeah, you know, we, I've practised... Yeah, two days a week for the last three or four weeks, which is more than I've done for four years. So, and he's great. And you're probably not going to get a better practice partner in the world than him. You know, he, he, he's keen. Like, he's keen. Jim, congratulations. Jim, do you turn up to this tournament fully focused, just we know? Sometimes you've turned up to in the past, it's maybe not been your, your primary concern, but when you turn up to the world, is it 100% focus on that? Yeah, when I get here. Um, everyone will tell you it, it's probably preparation. Mine is really poor. It always has been, but you know, when I get here, I, I want to win. And like I say, the last three or four weeks, I've practiced, yeah, two days a week, which is more than I've done for four years. So I felt comfortable. It was just, my head was kind of all over the place then. But, you know, I did the right things at the right time, man, which is, that's a bonus. If that preparation was better, I mean, what could you produce on this stage? Because last year you were superb, and you say it's the difference maybe between 25 and 100 grand. Yeah. I can't really answer that. I mean, if I, when I go up there and I feel comfortable, I'm really good. But... It's it, it's getting up there and feeling comfortable and it, and it's focusing. Like I felt really good practicing everything. I went up there and, and I'm listening to the crowd. I'm listening to so many different things. Which yeah, it's something I need to learn is, is focusing on the stage. Peter Wright for yourself next. A huge occasion for you, but Peter, a player that's not in the greatest form in the world. You must believe that you can go in there and cause them. <laughs> it's Peter Wright. It's Honestly, when the draw came out and I, 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 I drew Norman and all I was thinking was just please play Peter right, please play Peter right. So I think my, my mind was kind of in that game before today, which is a really bad thing to do. But hopefully now, yeah, I'm going to kick on. We haven't had a shock yet in the tournament. Would it be a shock if you were to beat Peter? Or how do you go into it? Do you think this is my chance to really sort of light this tournament up. Yeah, uh, well, is it a shock? I don't know. Like, I've probably been better than him this year, but it's Peter Wright. Like, you know, he's won it twice and uh, 
he, he, he genuinely is one of the people I really look up to. I think he's a great guy. I like how he plays. So yeah, it's just it's a it's a dream draw for me. That it's just perfect. Um, and I think any dark player you'd ever meet to play Peter Wright like in an evening game, it's, it's perfect. And it's going to be a big occasion as well. That's made for you, is it? To sort of that platform to come out here and sort of. I guess it's going to be the focal of that, the focal attention of that night. Yeah. Well. So, are you looking forward to that? Does that bring out the best in you, do you think? I hope so, yeah. It, it, honestly, it's just, it's nice to play. I mean, you just, it's a whole, like the, the atmosphere is brilliant, but when Peter Wright walks on the stage, it's a, it's a different level again. So, to be even part of that is, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Been on this stage for three years in a row, and you've yet to lose that first hurdle. What is it about this stage that might you just rise to you? It's not rising to the case. You know, I've been playing a long time, and I've played on a lot of stages, so it's yeah. I heard someone say when I played James, probably the biggest game of his life. It isn't the biggest game of my life. Was when I played the first time at Lakeside. You know, I, I come from like a county B team to playing on the telly. Like you can't get bigger than that. So, yeah, just, I kind of take it in my stride now. We touched on it earlier, but you can't commit to the top full title. We've seen what you can do when you do play events. If you did commit full title, where could you go from this sport? Where could you go? I don't know. I don't know. It, it is about commitment. Um, yeah, I, I'm trying my best to put things into place so I can commit more, but, it, it, yeah, it's difficult. There's, there's a lot going on, but, you know... The, Maybe I should because, like the rewards in this game, if you play well, are massive. Um, you know, I've got, I've really got to work hard for everything I get in the real world. But yeah, the darts world can can give you a lot. Jim, um, you're obviously it's an individual game, but you're also in a pretty good team around you. How much? I guess pressure, or how much do you feel it when someone else in the stable does win on the first day, well, and and then unfortunately goes on and loses? But how much does that give you to say, yeah, I've got the people around me to be able to do this all the way through? As you mean, like the people in my team? Yeah. yeah. What if they yeah. play well? Yeah. Great. Yeah. It does. It really doesn't matter to me. I like, I like to see them do well, but it that really doesn't matter. Yeah. You know, it. You, you, yeah, you've got your own path in it. Um, yeah, so I, I guess everything that goes on around you is irrelevant, really.